Hey everyone, welcome back to Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Today we're going to talk about the four best fishing rigs for Florida, the Gulf Coast, Tampa Bay. You're going to like this, you're going to learn a lot, so uh, let's get started. You have your knocker rig right here, you have your uh, jewel hook, you have your barrel swivel that slides up and down on it, it goes right to the base of the hook, then you have your leader, then you have your barrel swivel right here. This is great for deep drops. You won't get any line twist and with braid, always with braid. Then you have your live live bait jig. This is a one ounce. It's orange, about a 4 L hook. You have your, your jig, tie your leader line right to it. And I always use fluorocarbon and I use a, a ball bearing barrel swivel, especially in deep current underneath the skyway in the shipping channel with all that swirling current. You have to have that to keep from the line from twisting, especially when you have a live bait on here. Then you have your uh, Power Pro right here, and you can use live shrimp on here. You can use uh, headless cut shrimp. You can use chunk bait on here. You can use a greenback. You can use a pinfish. You can use a pigfish. Just a, a piece of squid. They love this. I've caught so many fish on this, and you've, you've seen me how many fish I've caught on these jigs. Then you have your basic Carolina rig: your hook, your leader, barrel swivel and a slip sinker and the, and the slip sinker goes right on there just like that and i don't recommend this for deep water i recommend the knocker rig for deep water but the carolina rig i've used this for years it's it's great for inshore and even out in the gulf in under 50 feet of water if you're going to throw it my recommendation is throw it out there and try and keep a little bit of tension on the line and let it down slowly because if if you're using this with a six or eight ounce sinker in this. If you're using the Carolina rig and then you have your bait float up and your sinker drop and your line up like that, you're gonna get line twist on it and it's gonna get twisted, especially if you use braid. I don't recommend using braid on a Carolina rig. It just twists too much. Free line live bait, especially for the flats. Your hook, fluorocarbon line, and a barrel swivel and braid. For your snook, your reds, and your trout, anything inshore, I recommend that. Here's a little um, uh, split shot if you're fishing uh, and you want to get it down below the mangroves and drop it down if the tide's really moving. A split shot helps. I keep it as close as I can to the barrel swivel away from the bait. Good rule of thumb that I use for leaders is as long as my rod, that's going to be my leader. But I mean, if you feel comfortable with a two foot or uh, three foot, that's fine too. If that works for you, use it. So, and um, you gotta have these to cut braid. You have to have that. Then your, uh, here's your jigs, one and a half ounce. Bass Pro got these. Three quarter ounce, half ounce. I use red, the chartreuse here, and white, then the orange. I stick with those colors because of water clarity, but depending on which one and whatever whatever color they want, switch them up. Your uh, barrel swivels, Amazon, I always buy a hundred of them. They're, they're usually about 10, 10, 12 bucks. These, these are a little more money, but but they're well worth it to keep from line twist when you're out in the shipping channel. And then your, your gamma hooks, your uh, Mustad Ultra, and of course, even just go to Walmart and just get your basic Mustads. I've caught thousands of fish on these. And your 100% uh, fluorocarbon Seaguar. Here's your Power Pro, uh, Daiwa J Braid, and just your basic mono. This is these four rigs will help you catch more fish. Understand what they do, and with the knocker rig, you can put uh, this is a three ounce, depending on where you're at out in the Gulf. I like to use one ounce out in the channel. Uh, just gives her a better live presentation. Well, I hope this presentation helped everybody. You have your knocker rig, your live bait jig, you have your Carolina rig, and then your free line. All four of these will help you catch more fish. And I always recommend to use your fluorocarbon. That's the best thing I can tell you that's made the biggest difference in my fishing is fluorocarbon line right there. And I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Happy fishing.